Welcome back to MJB News. I'm Megan. And I'm Jenny. Today we have another episode of Back in Time, where we travel to another period and experience historical events. Where are we going today, Megan? Today we have a special interview with Joan of Arc and how she impacted the Hundred Years' War. What's that? A war between the French and the English that lasted from 1337 to 1453. Wait, that's more than 100 years. Shh. Hello, Joan. How are you today? Oh, hello there. How do you know my name? Because you're famous. You're also in history books. History books? Never mind. This is probably pretty new to you, and you've never seen cameras before. And it won't hurt you, I promise. I'm just going to ask you a few questions. Okay. What was your main motivation for what you did? Well, I saw an image of God that the French should keep fighting and there should always be a French king. How did you get people to believe you? I preached to the French people and fought hard to make them motivated. Were there people who didn't think you were right? Yes, there were many. And so what did you do? I still kept preaching and I finally won them over. And even though you were just a peasant girl, you were able to overcome that? It was hard because people didn't think I could actually convince and motivate people. But you did. Well, for the most part, the French just won the Battle of New Orleans because they were motivated. That's good. Ah! No, the English are taking her. Joan, make them believe you're not a witch. Ah! Joan isn't going to do anything. And now back to Jenny in our studio. Hello, Megan. I'm here with a French soldier who just recently lost the Battle of Crazy. Tell us, soldier, what do you think were the hardest parts to this battle? Wait, wait, what? What is this? Just go along with it. Answer my question. Je ne parle pas anglais. Yes, you just spoke English before. <sighs> Anyways, what do you think were the hardest parts to this battle? Well, the English had the Lombos, and they were pretty crazy. Crazy in what way? They can shoot over an extreme distance, and we couldn't even tell where it was coming from. It gave them a huge advantage. Even though you clearly outnumbered them? The Lombos was pretty, pretty crazy, man. Watch out! I was close. Wait. Wait, soldier? Okay, let's go back. <laughs> Thanks for watching this week's episode of Back in Time. I hope Joan's okay. Jenny, we already learned about this. We know what's going to happen. I know, but still. Really, Jenny? Anyway, we hope you enjoyed this episode. Good night! Sleep tight. So, Charles the Seventh? Yeah. Okay. Wait. Yeah. Give me a chart of Roman numerals. The longbow is pretty, pretty crazy, man. Watch out. <laughs> what? <laughs> Wait, are they cheese? Uh, no. No, it's broccoli. <laughs> <laughs> yes, broccoli, my favorite! <laughs> <laughs> Prevents cancer one quesadilla at a time. Broccoli present p presents. Presents. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm done. laughs> Here's cancer. On a quesadilla. Sorry for not my makeup. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching this week's episode of Back in Time. I hope Joan's okay. We already learned about this. We're gonna know what happened. I know, but still. <laughs>